Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is very unplanned. I wasn't expecting this for another couple of days, but I got a text saying it was at the post office and I ran there and here we are. I cannot possibly wait to open it. And I also can't open it and not document it because this will probably be the purchase of the year for me. I'm so, so, so excited to open it. We have, it's just a FedEx box. And I have had this on my wish list for probably three years, I would say. And now everyone talks about the Hermes game, but let's talk about the Rolex game. I've had a whinge about it many a time before. And basically, I've been on the Rolex wish list since 2020. And I've been offered two watches in that time. Both of them were not what I asked for and not what I was looking for. They were a bit ugly. Um, they had like a dark face and I like specifically was like, I want a lady date just with a light face. Mother of pearl, white, gold, silver, even pink. And the first one they ordered, the first one they offered me was gray. And the second one they offered me was like black, basically like a brown, it was brown. And I'm just like, thank you so much for thinking of me and offering it to me. But I know for a, a fact that the only reason you're offering it to me is because like no one else wants it and you're going down the line. Um, so I resorted to the secondhand market. I've been watching for over a year at the various sites. So things like First Dibs or um, The Real Real and Chrono24 which are just online authenticated resellers and okay here we have the box so it's from a dealer in japan which is kind of a bother because you have to pay like taxes and import fees and that sort of thing but i just think that i got such a good deal on the watch it's in such good condition original box original papers and the colorway is exactly what i want and oof, I just think it'll tie me over really nicely until I get um, an offer for the same thing, but I think a little bit different. Okay. I don't know what that is. Oh my goodness. This literally came so fast. I ordered it last week. It's, it's come from Japan to Australia in six days. That's wild. I mean, I did pay $200 for shipping, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So it's the watch box. Here I have the original papers, a little authenticity situation, a little handbook. Another little handbook. This is the box. It's actually in really good condition considering its age. Oh my God. It is so much more beautiful than I thought it would be. It's so shiny. It looks new to me. Oh my God, I am so happy with this. So it is a Rolex Datejust 26 millimeter with a gold face, a fluted bezel, a Jubilee bracelet in the steel and gold colorway. I really hope it fits me because it's she's dainty and I just feel like I'm do I have fat wrists? Potentially. I'm just going to take off my Garmin, you know, she's a sporty girl. Oh my God. How is this real? It's so tiny. I'm used to wearing Leo's. Um, oh, it's so cute. I'm used to wearing Leo's. Uh, Platinum Daytona, which is like 40. Oh my God, it's like a perfect fit. I literally love how like small and like low key it is. Oh my God. I am so happy with this. What the hell? Oh my God. 
it literally fits perfectly. I was thinking for sure I would have to get some links taken out. Oh my God, it is just perfect. When you guys hear the price that I got this for, you're going to die. So I'm just going to insert what this watch is currently going for on the market, on the second hand market right now. Okay, got it. Keeping in mind that Rolexes are often more expensive on the second hand market because the new ones are so hard to come by. Like I said, I have been on the list for years. I'm like, Rolex, take my money. And they're like, we don't have anything for you. So hence, a lot of people go to the secondhand market and are willing to spend more money because they get it when they want it rather than waiting until they pay less. So if you were to configure this watch new from Rolex, brand new and order it and wait potentially five to six years for them to offer you one, it will cost this much. Okay, so we've got what it goes for on the secondhand market, what it is brand new, and now are you ready to hear what I paid for it? Are you ready? So this price is including the price that it was, shipping to Australia, the tax import fees and like customs, what it, literally the, all of the costs that it took for me to obtain. Like, ta-da, a steal, an absolute steal. And the thing is, the projection for the, for the value of Rolexes is just going like this. It's like an Hermes situation. It's just going like this. So... The fact that I could sell this right now for at least double what I paid for it is insane to me. Like I saw this and I was like, oh, what's wrong with it? And there was nothing wrong with it. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's just perfect. It is so shiny. It's not scratched. It fits me perfectly. I love it so, so much. Oh, tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you hate it? Do you think it's too small? What colorway would you go? And what's your dream watch? Because I feel like this Rolex, love it. Chef's kiss. But aesthetically, the most beautiful watch to me is a small Cartier Panther in gold. They're like 33 grand. So you girl is like, mm, mm, you know, it's, it's next on the wish list, but she'll probably... But this, I love that I'll have a two-tone. And then the next watch I get, probably in honestly like years time, will be that gold one. And then I'll have a two-tone and I'll have a gold because all my other jewelry is gold. Well, this is technically rose gold, but because it oxidizes, it looks really gold and yellow. So I think this just matches everything. And I'm not wearing my engagement ring at the moment. I'm getting it cleaned, but it is platinum. So it looks like steel. So it matches everything. <laughs> oh my God. I am truly, 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 truly so obsessed. She's just like low key, you know? Hi. Okay, and I'm actually surprised, like the box is in such good condition. I'm gonna tell you guys the year. From memory, it was, was it 2002 or was it in the 90s? Let me, let me, let me, let me. I think it's like a little instruction book of how to do different things with it, that's fun. I wonder how much it was. Okay, so it was purchased on the 27th of November, 2003. So I was five. This watch, is in such immaculate condition for its age. I don't know if you guys can tell how shiny it is. So that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video. I just wanted to unbox it for you guys and show you what it, what it looks like and my initial reaction. And I honestly could not be happier. So this is like the smallest size that Rolex makes. Um, it is quite small, but like I said, like we've got Leo's really large man ones and I wanted like something really small and dainty that wasn't too like ostentatious for me to like wear to work and that sort of thing. And I think by not having the diamond bezel, it's definitely a little bit more subtle. And I just think it's so perfect. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.